So, uh, just a quick update on these Tech 465s. Um, <clears throat> I was able to take a lot of a lot of parts out of the uh, the 465 to put in the 465B and uh, get that going. Mostly, um, uh, mostly a lot of the Connecting uh, connecting rods and everything for the for the knobs. Um, you know, I took a lot of these out of the uh, out of the 465, and put them in the in the B model just to you know to kind of take the best of the two. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, vertical modules are um, quite different between the two. Um, you can kind of see. Uh, this is the uh, the actual vertical uh, selector knob. Um, and this uh, drum here, <coughs> and uh, how it interacts with uh, these various capacitors. Th these are are completely different uh, between the two models, unfortunately. So I wasn't able to. Um, take parts out of the uh, channel 2 of the 465 to put in the 465B. Um, I did kind of tinker around with the uh, the 465B channel 2 though and I, I, I got it to kind of work a little bit. Um, Yeah, I got this to, to kind of work a little bit. Let me bring up the intensity. <clears throat> yeah, you can see it, it kind of uh, it, it goes out every now and then. And you know I can occasionally bring it back in. It's it works spotty. <laughs> I guess you'll have to take my word for it because it's it's not behaving right now. But it uh, it does occasionally work. Um, I I think there's there's just some issues with uh, uh, perhaps dirty uh, dirty contacts or something going on. Uh, but the channel one does work. Um, really well. I, I've been able to to actually use this um, to troubleshoot troubleshoot some, some other electronics. So that's uh, kind of the progress so far. I was able to sacrifice some of the knobs from the 465, um, particularly this uh, this nice little ratcheting uh, delay time knob from the 465. I, I was um, really impressed by this. It, it, uh, it was a really cool knob, and uh, and so I wanted to take that from the, the 465 and put that here in the delay time. Uh, this was the original knob that was in this position, um, and uh, and this knob was uh, the plastic knob was actually broken off, and it was just down to the the metal spindle in, in the middle. So. I, uh, I took this knob and placed it up there, and then took the uh, the nice little ratcheting knob from the uh, from the 465. Other than that, unfortunately, I was uh, forced to just kind of take the uh, the other one apart for parts. Uh, I'll probably sell some of these parts um, on eBay at some point if anybody's interested. Um, it was. Uh, I was kind of running it, and it uh, it just kept getting less and less accurate. I noticed over time, uh, so it was just kind of. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure it could be repaired eventually, but it really, it's worth more to me as parts uh, than anything else. So, unfortunately, I decided just to scrap it. <clears throat> but uh, at least I did get one one good unit out of it and uh, hopefully this will um, be uh, a good value oscilloscope for me for a while till I can get something uh, 
bit more advanced. Well, thanks for watching.